Hey everybody, Steve from OpenBOM with the April 2021 release of the new OpenBOM Visual Dashboard, and I really dig this. Um, first, if you're an old school guy and you're a gal and you don't like this, just click over here on All Bombs and you'll see the old, uh, the old dashboard and everything will be fine. But if you're like me and you like you to see some visual work, check out the next few minutes here of this video. We're gonna talk about the new dashboard for OpenBOM. First thing you're going to notice, Everything's got an image. If there's an image available, uh, we're going to display it to you here. The next thing, this dashboard is bombs and items. So we're going to bring together for you a view of your things that are bombs as well as your things that are items in that bomb. And, uh, and so you'll see that, you'll see that here in your, in your dashboard. Next, uh, as you click on any one of these, we've brought the uh, item master panel to the dashboard. I love this. It's all the information about um, the item that you have selected. If it's, a, if it's a part or an item, we give you the where used. If it happens to be a bill of material, you're going to get a button here to open that bill of material directly from here. So that's a nice new feature. You can open the, you can kind of browse around and find the thing you're looking for, dive a little bit deeper. I really like working in this, you know, in, in this view. Um, some other things that, you, that you're going to notice is there's a little bit of new UI up here. Mostly we've just kind of moved a few things around. There's a selector here to look to see in the list view, which is sort of familiar, but we have uh, images or the new tile view, something again that I, that I really like. The, uh, the search has been moved a little bit over here to the right. The search facets are down here below, same as before. And then finally, there's a new piece of UI here, and, the, and this is the, your list of views. So why is this important? Well, the dashboard, and, this, and I love this part, the dashboard is driven by your view definitions. So what does that mean? Well, first, everyone's going to have a new view called dashboard. You, that's, you can go find it in your, in your dashboard views in the uh, uh, administrator panel. You'll see it in your view selectors and bombs and other places, and you're going to see it right here on the dashboard. So. Okay, I've got a new view called dashboard. What does that mean? Well, that defines the things that we see on the dashboard. Okay, that makes sense. So, wh what is it? What does it mean to me for, from um, uh, from uh, like some different team members or different um, different different roles? Well, let's take a look. I've created a dashboard for a buyer, perhaps. So let's switch to buyer. The buyer might be interested in different things. So here, the buyer gets the graphic the vendor, the lead time, and the description. If I select over here, I get more things that are, that are important to the buyer. The order of these is dictated by the order of that property in the view definition. So I can move around cost and, and other things. Okay, that, that's really interesting. Let's take a, a look at something else. Maybe my shop for manufacturing team would like to have a view that includes, okay, the graphic, maybe the description, but how about links to either the 2D file in, uh, in Google Drive? You know, maybe they wanna know what the part looks like when it's done, and or perhaps a, uh, perhaps a link if one has a, something has a drawing, maybe I put the link to the drawing right here so they can easily uh, click on that from their dashboard and find that drawing. Again, they switch over here to the list view and they'll see more things that are defined in that view. So this is gonna take a little bit of experimenting. You can create all kinds of different views. I've created one here that might be used for maybe somebody in my parts bin. Um, and uh, you, you can see there that I need to do a little more definition on that. But um, the idea behind that was maybe somebody who's doing inventory might wanna have their own view. And, uh, and likewise for some of these other things. So I'm gonna switch back to my default dashboard has description, cost, and quantity. Yours uh, will start with that. But of course, you can uh, you can edit that to make that what you like. So, so let's see. Finally, about about dashboards, um, I, I just want to remind everyone that the also finally the the headers over here are sizable, so we can change sizes on things. This is something that we often asked. And remember that these columns are defined in that view. So as I switch between views, I'll see different columns quite easily. So. I hope everyone enjoys that. We'd love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com. Thanks so much for listening.